What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about string interpolation in Angular. And string interpolation, it exists everywhere. In every single programming language, you're gonna have string interpolation and it plays a very important part. And it's very simple. Um, string interpolation is simply two brackets uh, together and then whatever you put your word in here so I could put my name as a string because it's string interpolation I could put a number in here so if I wanted to do just nine and essentially what's going to happen is it's just going to display it on the web page it's very simple and the reason that it plays is such an important part is because a lot of times you're just displaying strings on a web page, even if it's numbers even if it's dates a lot of times you're just uh showing string so the first place that string interpolation is going to be pulled from i guess the word would be where it's going to start where is like the data actually coming from is going to be within your properties here in um, typescript and if you look here what is happening is you are going to get an error and this is kind of important because it's good to kind of understand like maybe if you don't understand what typescript is and i need to get more watch time i'm gonna go ahead and like explain like all like what all of this stuff means so that there's no st stone unturned so what is happening here is that it's the javascript or the typescript uh compiler is basically saying hey there's nothing initializing this this is undefined um, this is not a string. So if you don't actually assign it anything and we could just come in here You could just assign it Teddy, but what is more I guess Official and maybe something that you would want to think about Maybe if you were in a job interview or you were in some type of setting is that you would want to instantiate it in the constructor Before any of this other data actually loads. So we'll just go here Go this and then we'll assign title and then we will assign it my name so how do we actually get this on the web page and what I've done over here is I've went over into my app component.html and I've split it in two so that we can kind of see what's going on here better and we can actually see both of them at the exact same time is what we're gonna do is we're gonna bust out the turtle shell just like I said and because this, these two are logically linked within this component attribute up here, what's gonna happen is, is Angular is gonna do all this hard work for us and it's going to inject it into this HTML so that we can actually see it on the web page. So I'm just gonna go ahead here. Let's go ahead and run it. And this is actually the first time that I've run this app and I'm not going to do the analytics. Would you like to use a different port? No. Oh, okay. It's, uh, I've actually already got an instance running, so I'm going to go ahead here. So, ng serve. Would you like to use a different port? Yeah, let's just use a different port. And it's going to go ahead. It's gonna, the first time that Angular boots up, it takes a really long time. So, forgive me if this takes a little bit. Get to get a drink of coffee. Okay, so went ahead and compiled successfully. And let's see here. I gotta go ahead, I gotta put this thing up. And would you look at that? Teddy is being displayed right on the HTML. But let's take it a little bit further. Let's see maybe what other let's think try and think of other ways that we could possibly um, also put HTML on the web page. So we'll go here, we'll go number, and we'll assign this a one. We could do it in the constructor. We could just initialize it directly in the property. I'm gonna say constructor is the ultimate fancy way to do it, but it really doesn't matter when we're just here alone in our rooms, <laughs> just coding. So we can just go ahead up here and um, go ahead and assign this up here. So go here, then let's go and let's, Go here, number two, and let's see it go ahead and load. So we're gonna go check on it in the web page over here in my app. And once again, it, what it's going to do is it's going to load it 
the HT, it's going to load everything before the HTML. So this is going to get loaded first, then it's going to put it on the HTML web page. And that's like the whole entire idea behind string interpolation. But let's do, let's toggle, let's do a, let's do a toggle. This is fundamental building block of web application, having a nice little toggle in here. We'll say toggle Pokemon, we'll have a Boolean and we'll assign it to false. Go ahead in here, we'll have a toggle Pokemon. And if it is false, let's do a good little ternary is Pokemon. Then we'll go here is not Pokemon. Compiled successfully. And if you look over here, we've got Teddy, we've got three, we've got is not Pokemon. And then if we go over here and then we switch it, we switch it to true, is Pokemon. And that's pretty much the whole entire idea behind string interpolation. Really not that complicated. Next, we're gonna move on to more complex forms of data binding and talk about all the other fancy things that we can do in Angular. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.